Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to be drawing some fancy fish. These fish will include lines and patterns. And all you really need today is a piece of paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. Let's get started. All right, so the first step of this fancy fish project is to get out all your supplies. I have my paper, I chose a black super tip Crayola marker, and then I think for coloring today, I'm just gonna use my crayons. The first thing you wanna draw is the mouth and the body of the fish. So I'm gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna add the mouth. I did kinda like a pucker mouth. I think it looks maybe like an M on its side. And then I'm gonna draw the body. I'm not gonna connect this, but it's almost like I'm drawing a big oval. All right, that's step number one. Step number two is going to be to add the fins and the tail. Now the tail is kind of like a big wide C that you can connect. And the fins, this fin right here is kind of like a wonky triangle. Add some curves to that shape. And then up top, I'm actually just gonna draw a nice big squiggle line. Awesome. So the next thing I'm gonna do when I'm done drawing my fins and tail is draw a zigzag line right here to separate my tail from my body and a big eye. I drew an eye by drawing a circle, adding a shine spot, and then coloring my eye in. Cool. Next, I'm gonna break this body up into parts. I think I'll draw four lines. So one, two, three, four. They're not straight, they're kind of wavy, and they really weren't put anywhere specific. The next step is the hardest. This is where I'm gonna add all my patterns. And I'm actually just gonna do the first couple with you, and then I'll fast forward through the rest. So I think up here, I wanna draw some lines really simple and I'm just using this nice wide part of my marker it doesn't take too too long but I am being really careful and then I'm thinking here I could draw some swirls you can draw whatever pattern you'd like you can draw triangles circles stars I like to use lots of different lines, thick lines, thin lines. I've seen students try to draw plaid. I've seen them do zigzags. Anything works. So I'm gonna fast forward the rest of my fish and I'll check back in with you. All right, I've added all my patterns. I'm ready to move on to the next step. Now you'll notice I'm using a marker today, and that's because I'm not super worried if I make a little bit of a mistake. But if you feel like you're getting a little worried about your mistakes, feel free to use a pencil, trace over with a marker, and then you can erase later. Or you don't have to erase at all. You could just leave the pencil lines and skip the marker. So now that my fish is full of fun patterns, I think I need to add a little detail. So I think I'm gonna add some bubbles. Bubbles are really easy. You just wanna start off small, get a little bit bigger, and in kind of an abstract pattern, draw them coming up from your fish's mouth. I like to add little shine spots on them too. Next, I'm gonna add some coral. Now you might have seen coral that looks kinda like this, where it has nice big arms, or maybe You've seen coral that looks a little lumpier. It could look something like this. Nothing too crazy. Last thing I'm gonna add is seaweed, but you should feel free to add starfish, maybe a little shrimp, another fish, anything else you can think of. I've even seen treasure chests and scuba divers. Seaweed's pretty easy. We're just gonna go up with a squiggle line, find the top, and go down with another squiggle line. I try to make this space thin and this space thick. I'll add a couple of these. And then if you're feeling really tricky, you can go up behind the seaweed and add another piece. Now it looks like it's layered. 
doesn't matter if it's perfect. Doesn't matter at all. Okay. I like to add a little bit of a line. And now my seaweed and details are done. I'm gonna go ahead and color this. I'll fast forward and meet you on the other side. And there you have it, one fully colored fancy fish. Now, you totally don't have to use crayons, you can use whatever you have at home. I was also thinking if you wanted to make this a little bit different, instead of drawing with the marker, you could draw with crayon and color with marker and it would create a resist. If you wanna go outside and draw this with chalk on your driveway, that totally works too. And those are all the steps to draw your very own fancy fish. If you have any questions or think you need any help, please send me an email. I'm happy to respond. And if you'd like, I can also try and post these pictures on my Instagram. You can follow me at Miss Smith Teaches Art. Thanks, have a great day.